Hi friends, welcome to Kodai Linux. I am your facilitator Murali. In the last session, we understood various aspects of the Linux environment, predefined and user-defined variables. If you have not gone through it, I advise you to first go through my previous video, the URL for which I have given in the comment section. The novice Linux learner says to Jenny, "Okay, I understand. I understood various aspects of shell variables. Thank you for that, Jenny." I right now need one more clarification regarding the shell variables. Yes, master, please tell me. Okay, Jenny, when I want the child process of my login shell to inherit a set of variables, shell variables, so that I could access them in the child environment. Can I do that? Let me put it in another way. Like I have my login shell. Okay, I am creating a sub shell, or I am running any. Command. I am running any command. Maybe I am running a C plus plus application. I am running a C application. I am running a Java application. I want these applications to, okay, uh, access my shell variables. So for that, what I need to do, I I I I know that I need those shell variables to be inheritable. So how do I make them inheritable from my login shell to the child processes? Oh, that's fine, uh, master. We can do that. We have a command called export command. So, using this export command, we can make a variable inheritable. Oh, that's quite interesting. How do we do that? Whichever variable you want to be inherited to child process of the login shell, you can specify that variable as an argument to the export command. And one more point we need to note, like the, that, when we are Specifying an argument to export command. Export command expects only variable to be specified as an argument, and that export command will make that variable inheritable to the child process. So, whatever argument we give to export, export understands that it's a variable. Hence, you need you should not prefix that with dollar. Okay, only when you want to specifically tell that, okay, uh, you want your variable to be. You are uh, that um, user-defined name to be understood as a variable in certain occasions, like with echo command. You need to prefix a dollar, otherwise you don't have to. So even with export command, you should not prefix your variable with a dollar because export command by default takes only the uh, variable as an argument. Okay. Okay, Jenny, I understood the significance of the export command. I'll work on these concepts. Thank you, Jenny. I'll come back to you later on for understanding many more aspects concerned with you. Uh, that is the shell environment. Okay, right now I am going to start working practically with the export command for making the variables inheriting to the child process environment. So let us suppose I am creating a variable subject equal to physics. Okay, echo dollar subject physics. PS hyphen yeah. What is this PS command? PS PS means process status. Okay, I want I can display the status of what are whatever process or logging. <laughs> For executing in my current shell, okay. So when I just executed PS I open up, my current login shell is there, and the PS itself was there in the <coughs> list of processes, okay. That belongs to the current shell. So um, I have the login shell bash, okay, and we understand certain things from here. UID for the process, then PID. PID means process ID. PPID means parents process ID. So this login shell bash, its parents process ID is seven. Okay. Then CPU time. How much time CPU time it took for the process to load? Then start time. Then the terminal in which terminal that process is uh, running. And then 
like the ps command because i executed the ps command so ps when ps command was executing even the ps command was there in the that shell environment right okay fine uh, it was a child of so ps command is a child of the login shell that is the reason we, our ppid is 8 or the ps command why ppid means what parents process id so what is the parent of ps shell what is its process id 8 so that would be copied to the ppid uh, okay ppid column for the ps command okay so that is what is the meaning of the parents process id okay fine now let us come to this uh, our thing like i have the um, login shell okay in that i have defined a variable called subject and its uh, value is physics okay let me go to my sub shell how do we go to a sub shell bash i am executing the bash command so a child shell process is created okay how do i know that a child shell process is created ps hyphen f yes there is a login shell hyphen bash and its child is bash how do you know that bash is the child of uh, hyphen bash look at the ppid column of this second line bash 8 what is the process which is having 8 as its pid that is hyphen bash so this is the parent of the second line and look at this ppid ppid of ps command it is 111 right so which is the process that is having 111 as its pid that is this bash so uh, given the ppid with the help of the ppid i can uh, trace back the parentage of a particular process see for this process ps parent is bash how do i say that ppid is parents process id is 111 so which is the process which is having 111 as its pid this bash second line bash so this bash is the parent of this ps and here it is 8 ppid so which is the process which is having 8 as its pid that is this first line bash so this bash is the parent of this bash so or in other way this bash is a child of this hyphen bash and ps is the child of ps is the child of this bash okay fine so i have come to the child shell now i am in the child shell there is a special shell variable called dollar dollar so there is dollar dollar displays the pid of the current shell so from this we understand that the current shell is this one the second line bash so that parent shell is not the active shell now now the current shell is the active shell okay fine <coughs> so now the parent shell has gone to a wait state okay uh, now the child shell is the active shell so my active shell is child shell so i am in my child shell how do i know that echo dollar dollar always the current shells or the active shells pid is stored in a special variable called dollar dollar what is its value 111 so which is the process which is having 111 as its pid this bash so this is the current active shell okay now let us see whether in my child shell whether this subject has been inherited no it is not inherited why because we have not exported it right so a, a variable which is not exported it won't be inherited right only when you export a variable you can inherit that variable okay how do we go back to the parent shell so how do we kill a shell so i want to kill this sub shell or i want to terminate this sub shell how do i do that control d so control d will terminate the sub shell so exit command is executed so it has terminated the sub shell so hence i am going back to my parent shell how do i know that i am in parent shell ps hyphen f i am in the parent shell now that is the login shell yes its pid is 8 echo dollar subject yes it will be there because there only i created it now let me now create a variable called author okay but now i would be exporting it okay so that it would become inheritable so export author equal to cunningham 
Okay, so this is the syntax of exporting a variable. So either uh, while initializing only we can export it or we can init initialize it after that also we can export it like author equal to kerning and then export author. That way also I can do it or export author equal to kerning and. Okay, either way we can do it. Echo dollar author. Yeah. It's a current shell. Okay, PS hyphen job. I am in the current shell. So I am creating a sub shell. Okay, so now I have gone to the sub shell. How do I know that I am in a sub shell? PS hyphen job. Yes, I am in the sub shell. And the sub shell's PID is sub shell or child shell's PID is 146. So uh, actually now this author I have exported, right? Exported to the child shell. Okay, this author I have exported to the child shell. Let us see whether it is it has got inherited. Echo dollar author. Yes, it got inherited. So when you are okay uh, inheriting a variable to the child shell with the help of the export command, okay, it would be accessible to the child shell or any other child process also, as I told you. Like here in the demo, I have just shown child shell, but later on when we learn about shell scripting, I will show you how we can even uh, access it in other child processes also. Like from a shell script, I may call a Perl script. From a shell script, I may call a C code, C application. From a shell script, I may call a C++ application or a Java application. So in all those applications, I would be able to access them provided I make those variables inheritable with the help of the export command. So I will explain you later on while learning about the shell script. I would explain you in that aspect. But now I have given a demo like creating a child shell here itself. Okay. And then explaining you. So is it, is it the next question comes? Is it inheritable to the multi levels? Like I am creating one more child shell that is grandchild clear ps hyphen yep so now i am in now i am in the grandchild see see this bash is a child of the login bash how eight this bash is a child of this child bash so this is a grandchild and ps is a child of this grandchild bash right fine so this is the second level of inheritance is my author variable in your inheritable here Yes, let us see whether it is inherited in the second level of the uh, child shell. That is a grandchild. Okay. Echo dollar author. Yes, it is inherited to the second level also. So any level, even one more level. Okay, I am inheriting. Okay, well, that is one more level of shell I am. I have created, right? So, see, this is the great grand, great grandchild. Whether that variable is accessible here also? Yes, it is accessible. What if I change the value of the variable in this great grandchild author equal to, okay, Dennis Ritchie? Okay, now echo dollar author. If I make a change to the variable in the great grandchild, will it affect its parent that is the grandchild? So I am coming out of the, I am terminating the great grandchild exit. So where am I now? I would come to the grandchild, right? See, I was in the great grandchild 150, 165, 155. So now I am in the grandchild that is which is having p as 155 so i have come to the grandchild so whether the change i made in the child will it be okay reflecting in the parent logically speaking it should not reflect right echo dollar author it's kerning on only but we made it as dennis richie in the child so whatever change we make in the child that would not reflect in the parent but whatever we make in the parent that would get reflected Okay, fine, fine. So, <coughs> I believe you would have understood about the uh, export command. Okay, let us suppose that in this level of parent, okay, I am uh, not export, sorry, author equal to, 
ओके समथिंग वेन बर्ग ओके नाउ आई एम क्रिएटिंग अ चाइल्ड ओके आई एम इन द चाइल्ड नाउ राइट ग्रेट आगे अगेन आई कम टू द ग्रेट ग्रैंड चाइल्ड एक्को डॉलर ऑथर Yes, Wayne Burger. So, whatever change I make, make in the parent, that will be inheritable to the child. That will be reflecting in the child. But whatever, whatever I making in the child will not be reflecting in the parent. That is very obvious. Okay. So that behavior uh, we need to understand. Okay. Fine. I believe you would have understood the significance of the export command. Okay. So whatever commands uh, we are, whatever. Uh, aspects of uh, unix or linux we are learning um, we have learned till now uh, please keep working on those uh, concepts on your uh, unix box or linux box so that you will be in touch with all those concepts um, just listening uh, going through these videos uh, may not help much unless or until you work on it yourself uh, on some linux box okay so you have uh, various options of uh, okay um, having your own linux there is one Sig sigwin linux okay you can install sigwin linux which will be part of the windows or uh, as a part of the windows you can install just a ubuntu linux which will be which will be just uh, working as a part of one of the programs of the uh, windows which will provide you a shell that is also possible Okay, not necessary that you have to have a non-DOS partition and then in that you have to install the Linux and all. If you are able to do that, that's well and good. Uh, but I, or you can even uh, install VMware and then uh, um, you, uh, you, will, you can have a virtual machine and then you can uh, install Linux in that. So there are various ways of uh, um, having Linux on your environment and then uh, uh, work, working uh, on all these aspects all the commands that we have seen so be in touch with the uh, subject so linux is a unix or linux uh, um, understanding about the shell environment working on various commands they all have to be worked on practically so please work on practically in with all these aspects uh, so that you are in uh, touch with the subject and um, so that you would get a lot of you uh, get a lot of doubts and you can ask clarifications with me so um, whatever clarifications you need uh, please uh, post it in the comment section okay uh, so with that point of view i thank you all uh, for being with me in this session i'll see you in the next class okay take care bye bye